What's going on everybody? I'm YouTube's ProPJM. Welcome back to This Is The Police. I felt like I only played this like a couple days ago, but it turns out it's been a week. So, uh, we are here on day whatever the fuck it is. Um, let's read our titles, our, our headlines for today. Crocodile found in inner city river. Projectionist accidentally plays porn at last night's picture. Naughty naughty. That was creepy. Never do that again. God, I got the hiccups. Oh, God. Farmer claims government poisoned his harvest. Let's go to work in our fucking new car because Jack is moving up in the world. I think I forgot to feed my fish. Can I have the day off? No. It's my dog's birthday. I want to spend it with her. No. You don't get to spend your birthday with the dog. Okay, we got some cassettes. Oh my god, fire in your brain. Oh, that sounds delightful. Yes. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can actually fucking... Why? Please be advised that we are unhappy. We're cutting the department's budget. Well, you're just a... Fucking... Arsehole, aren't you? For several years, we have constantly been pestered by the LGB... Organization. They're gonna riot. Okay. Don't care. Here's my salary. Nice. Mafia. Oh yeah, they took the fucking jewels. Um, 150 gays and lesbians have gathered in the school, demanding the talk of the administration. The head of office has opened the door. Do I can lock himself in the office? Um. Why does that say B? Is it because he is the boy? I uh, will send, uh, no. Oh, really? We have to send everyone? Really? Alright. Protection. Jack. Teachers were actually fired according to local law. Barbaric. However, the protesters have the right to assemble and express themselves as long as no one is in danger, I have a couple of ideas about how you can cover yourself if things go sideways. Um. Um. Evidence against the church. Fucking Catholics. Yep, that's what we're going with. Threatening phone call. Well, oh, you're going by yourself. Okay, maybe not. I forgot that you guys can refuse now. Well, I hope you guys are happy because this person's probably going to fucking die. Because of your stupid ass protest. Yep. Told you. Told you someone's going to fucking die. Because of this stupid ass protest. Um, suppress protest by force. No. We're just there as a police presence. Just making sure that everybody's, you know, sticking by the rules and hunky dory. Child molestation. Good God. Okay. Prostitution. What the fuck? This town's going to shit. All right, let's go you and you. Okay, maybe not. And you. And for you, you guys can go. I think I mixed them around the wrong way. I I don't know which I probably the, I should probably should have sent the best guy to the child molestation case. Oh well. We live, we learn. We live, we learn. It's all good. It's all good. Well, hopefully these guys aren't just incompetent and fucking actually know how to work it out. There we go. Everybody's good. Through the glass doors, you can see a male figure trying to climb on top of the struggling girl who's thrown on the couch. The school girl's crying loudly. Um. Uh. Uh. Knock loudly? Oh, everybody's unharmed. That's a good day for us. That's a good day. Nobody's been shot. 
No officers killed. There's a mass fucking riot. Hysterical young person just called in shouting, Good God. The prophecy has come to pass. Dozens of zombies are roaming the park. Just like from the movies. Oh my God, vampires, free burgers, dooms, send the National Guard. I feel like this is going to be a crank call. Just saying. So we'll send, uh, we'll send two people. So we have three of them here, at least. So we'll send you and you. Uh, what, you're seriously scared of zombies? Fine, we'll send three. I know it's a crank call. And yet they're still wanting three people and not two. Fucking pussies. How dare they? Mass riot, here we go. Man was frightened by a horror film festival. You know what? Fucking wasting my resources. Wasting my people that I don't have. Domestic problems. I don't care. Complains that her neighbors are arguing. Okay. Well, don't be a nosy rosy. Uh, you and you. Alright. We're going good. We're going good today. Suspicious individual in Desiree Park. Yeah, sure. Oh, the mayor. Jack, you swore an oath to serve this city. If you can't keep your promises, we can't keep ours. Well, look, I wasn't going to break them up by force if they weren't being vicious. Just saying. Just saying. If they're not being aggressive, then fuck it. Not a lot I can do. Suspicious individual. False alarm. Great. Domestic problem. Oh my god, how many false alarms are there? Jesus fucking Christ. Just wasting my time and my resources, man. Can someone please hurry up and make it back to the station? Kinda need some help here. Nope, oh, fuck it. Go, go. Uh, you two and the paddy wagon. Drug sale report. Oh. Oh, I remember this case. Oh, I remember. I certainly do. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go in there. Uh, I did that and then that. Cool. Okay, um... Two officers. Oh, I'm sending my best officer out with you. Mwah. Beautiful. Homicide. I don't know... I don't know about that one. Alright, everybody's good. Everybody's... Everybody's awesome. Everyone is good. Everybody's fucking great. Everybody's on a case. 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 Situation is more serious than... I don't have any more. I can't send any more. Please don't die. Please. Oh, thank God. Whew. Wrong place. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Alright. You guys did good today. No one died. No one died. Day 62. Police Academy students selling cocaine, crazy arms film flop, twist uh, strip club owner, my dancers are all feminists. Alright, let's do one more day. That's two. Let's do one. Oh, we got story. All the information about Laura, just like you asked. Okay. Lloyd, keep your voice down. Someone could be listening. Jack has oh, got a I'm new, sorry, like, I'm sense of bad ass. doing something like this. Here's the envelope. Everything's in there. Okay. Fine. Mr. Boyd, please write for Mr. Fry on this envelope and drop it in the mailbox across the street. What? That, for some reason, I don't, I don't trust you with that. Like it's some kind of game. Mr. Boyd, those are the rules. Now, please, lower your voice. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, okay, Emma. I'll put this envelope in the mailbox across the street, just like you said. Yep. Wonder this... how that damn Mr. Fry is gonna get an envelope out of the mailbox. Mm. Talking to yourself, Mr. Boyd? 
and we thought we'd have Who? to catch you at the what? police station. Who are you? But it turns out Jack Boyd has come down to meet us personally. Do you know why we're here, Mr. Boyd? Because you I guys need some are. style tips. My name is Eugene Chaffee. I'm a businessman. Ew, la Restaurant tour. Although I usually tell everyone I'm a businessman. Uh, which sounds better, businessman or restaurant tour? Restaurant oh, I tour. I think I've heard of you. You have a restaurant and a slaughterhouse, uh, and you serve refried veal steaks. <laughs> well, refried veal steaks isn't my only business, but perhaps it's what I'm best known for. Okay. I thought it was. What do you want from me, Mr. Boyd, and my friend here? I believe you're already acquainted. His name is Troy Star. Troy Star. So what do you want, Mr. Chaffee? Looking for a spokesman for your beef products? <laughs> I recently changed my image and my hair. Eugene yeah. and I really want to help you, Mr. Boyd. Although after our phone call, I've had my doubts. I was making uh -huh. a my life, and you called me and told me to fuck myself. That kind of behavior is rude <laughs> did you? Or did you continue boy. fucking her? I didn't mean to offend you, Mr. Star. Just thumbing my nose at that prick mayor of ours. You keep making love to your wife, or uh, did I ruin the movie? <laughs> There's a nice cafe around the corner. Spare us a couple of minutes of your time, Mr. Boyd. Um. Hmm. Lately, I've mm. been so busy that I rarely get to sit and relax in such a nice place, and with such interesting company. This is not gonna go to good. I can already tell. Coffee. I'm busy too. In fact, I think I hear some teenagers next door robbing and raping an old woman. Maybe she's your aunt. <laughs> Ouch. You see, Mr. Boyd. Good morning. What do you want? A big mug of beer. Yeah. We don't serve big mugs of beer. Well, fuck you then. Then a small mug of beer. We don't have beer in any size glasses. This is a family restaurant. Moms and dads come with small children. I can bring you a lollipop to suck on. Yes. Monica, where's your famous charm? Bring the gentleman a beer. I'm sure you've got a bottle under the counter. <laughs> Check between the dead cats and the dried heads of your ex-boyfriends. This man, by the way, is your police chief. Don't be silly. The police chief has a bald spot the size of a toilet seat. Oh, really? So, oh, really? Well, excuse you? Oh, Fucking I'm sorry, rude. Eugene, it's Rogers. Probably forgot how to wipe his ass. <laughs> <laughs> when you're right. 82, Troy, you'll probably forget you need to wipe your ass at all. But very well, run along. We can continue without you. All right. So, Mr. Boyd, as you may already know, the official job of my old friend, Mr. Star, is to cause trouble for you. <laughs> but believe me, it's not out of malice. I might only do the one day, because if this carries on for a, a little bit, then I, I might just do the one day and then this, and then wrap it up after this finishes. Every day, pay close attention to your morning newspaper, Mr. Boyd. Why? You'll find messages hidden among the pages. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now i got to do no deciphering? The information you'll find there is extremely useful. <laughs> you see, Troy Star isn't my... Only spy. Dun dun dun. Um. That's it, Mr. Boyd. I told you it would only take. You're trying minutes. to say that you have a spy in my department? You while you're enjoying your drink, keep in touch, my dear little cupcake. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, I'm quite good at puns. No, you fucking not. Get out. No, you're not allowed. Get out. <laughs> Never imagined what meeting Robespierre would be like. Ah. I didn't figure the first thing he'd do is buy me a drink. That's Robespierre. Getting them to serve a beer at a family cafe? And this Robespierre has some strange superpowers. Strange, but not entirely useless. Yeah, it could be useful. It could be awesome to work with, actually. Given the right circumstances. Um, So we're up to shift B? Oh, maybe I will do today. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, let's do this day and then um, we'll end it here. Offended employees, Chief, we heard enough about you during church service. We quit. What the fuck did I do? What the fuck? 
Great, I failed the investigation and I failed that one. Great. Um, we got theft and it's pretty high. Asano, are you serious? You guys, this department's way too small still. Yeah, you won't go by yourself. Of course not. Ugh. This department's too small. I need a bigger department, boys. Just a, you know, just a bigger one. One of the suspects was running around and almost fell down the elevator shaft. He's standing right next to the edge and there's terror in his eyes. Uh, easy kid, it's a long way down. There we go. Everybody's fine. Great. Even the weird kid. Uh, yeah, there's something going down at Eddie's... There's drugs at Eddie's Burgers. Dead bodies? Mr. Boyd, you don't know me. I, sp I suppose that's just as well. As for what I do, you probably wouldn't approve. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. People dead? No? Ah, fuck. People dead? False alarm. Great. Okay, we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Ish. Animal assault. Uh, Sano and Austin. Get on in there. Good, 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 good. See, we serve the city, man. We... We are the... We are the... The voice of the people. We are there for the people. Double homicide. I don't even have... No, I don't even... I... Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try with one person to try and fucking do this case. It's not gonna work. Animal assault report. False alarm. How many false alarms? Honestly. Like, good god. Alright, maybe we should wait for one of the girls to get back. Double homicide investigation. Yeah, I'm not reading that. I can't be bothered right now. Alright, let's send uh, you and Asano. Good, 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 good. Alright, Jesus Christ. Drug manufacturing. Um, and you can go with the paddy wagon. Are you serious? You don't want to go? <sighs> I need four police today. It's very important day for my daughter. She's getting married. I can't spare four cops. I've only got four cops. Hey, John, you don't get four cops, okay, buddy? You don't get any cops. False alarm. Great. Now that's gonna fail and that's gonna fail. That one I don't really care about, but... Yep, a civilian killed. Great. Disorderly conduct. Can you guys please go? Are you serious right now? You've got SWAT and a paddy wagon. And you still won't go. Woman called in speaking... I hear my wall trembling, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we got a robbery. There. Maybe more important than this all conduct. Christopher Sands. Yeah, okay. I'll send some people to help. Good old Sands. Good old Sands. Alright. We're good. We're good. I mean, we're going to fail a lot of shit today, but we're good. Yep, here we go. A man and a woman are struggling to carry a luxury couch through the broken window. I'll <laughs> help them, Lord. Put your hands on your head. Nice. Public indecency. And disorderly conduct. Okay, disorderly conduct, it was a false alarm. Public indecency. 
Okay. Can you hurry up and get back? Thank you, Austin. Double homicide. Okay, we don't have enough frames to carry on that investigation yet. Hopefully, Austin will be okay by themselves. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. She's not, you know, she's alright, but she's not, she's not all there, you know. Alright, Austin, how'd you do? Come on. Did you do good? Yeah! Everything worked out awesome! Alright. End the day. Day 63. Alright. I'm gonna leave this episode of This Is The Police here. I hope you guys are still enjoying it. As I said, I don't know how much longer we're gonna be doing this series for. Because I think there's like 15 or 16 episodes on the channel at this point. So it kind of just feels like beating a dead horse. But um, stay tuned. We might do one or two more, maybe. I'm, I'm not sure yet. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to favorite it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, guys. Helps me out a lot. There are links to my social media in the description box. And as always, there's a link to the Propy J and merch store down below. I also want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon for making this episode of This Is The Police possible. If you guys go over there and want to support the channel by donating, uh, there's really cool rewards up for grabs. There's limited edition merch, which has been signed by me. Um, there's a lot of really cool rewards out there. So if you guys would like, the link to the Patreon page is in the description box. And this video is also sponsored by Razor. So thank you so much to them. Um, if you guys click the Razor link in the description and sign up to their mailing list, you guys get $15 off of any purchase. So that's a very good deal, guys. So make sure you go and grab that deal while it's still available. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for enjoying This Is The Police. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Propy and Peace out. We are on our final thread. We've been holding on too long. Slipping out my side. It's easier to just let go So